All right, hey, Josh here, Attica Lumber Company. Hey, set the stage here, a 32 by 48, 12 feet tall, uh, six foot porch. That's gonna run the full 48 video. Now, this was day one progress by a crew of four. I wanna give you kind of an idea. And again, it's not so much speed, it's about, you know, getting the job done right. But you can see day one progress kind of moved out. I don't know if they'll get it done in two days, but definitely three days they'll get it done. They gotta put a cupola up on this. But again, 32 by 48, 12 feet tall, up in Huron County, Ohio. And then let's take a look at this building right here. All right, I'm gonna point out a couple features. So for those of you out there doing it yourself, DIYers, people that wanna do it, there's a couple things that you can do. But you can see right here on this building, a uh, customer chose a three-ply laminated column, okay, for the post selection. And we talked about this in previous, but it's really important though. You know, why is this different than a four by six or a six by six? You know, what's the difference? What's the value add to this? You can see there's three different splice points. Splice point there, a splice point there, and then also a splice point. So what it is, it's a yellow pine, spliced, glued, laminated together. And again, it provides a more true, straighter application and then a four by six or six by six. A four by six and six by six is a natural piece of wood. And with a natural piece of wood, that can warp, that can twist. And then on a post frame building, that can be an issue. So that's why three ply laminated columns or four ply laminated columns are pretty doggone popular. All right. Then you can see again, the ground contact, and then we're gonna bring this up to grade, obviously, and, and pour concrete. But that's a two by 10, a ground contact, treated baseboard. All right, then for our trusses, again, they'll come back and put the hurricane ties on it. But you can see four foot on center. Again, that's MSR lumber. And what MSR stands for is machine stress rated lumber. So that's four foot on center. And you can see those 32 width and they span there. And you can see they got the overhead door. You see you got the, uh, the header there, two, two top by, Ten, or two two by ten yellow pines right above the overhead door and you can see they got the windows all framed out and ready to be installed here so four windows i believe one two three yeah and four windows and then also a man door and also two overhead doors so kind of gives you an idea then for the porch section you can see what they did there they ran some two by fours that way they can tie the porch section up in there you see how they did that See the two by six is obviously the sidewall cart, sidewall girts. That's an SBF, number one SBF, actually number two SBF. But you can see what they did with the two by fours. See how they're running those two by fours. That way they can connect the porch along the 48 foot section of the building. See how that is? And then up top, the same way there. Two by fours all the way. And they run that all the way down so they can connect that porch so that kind of gives you an idea of what can be done today and again don't get caught up on speed here again this is an experienced crew crew of four day one and then today they had some personal things they had to take care of but they'll be back at it again tomorrow but we'll keep you up to post or up to date on this but day one there of the post train building right up here in Huron County Ohio and uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up. To the next one, keep it locked loaded right here at a